Well, hi guys. Um, some time ago, I made a video to show how to install Nextcloud 16 on an Ubuntu server, not using Snap packages, but doing it manually. Um, and uh, I've been running Nextcloud 16 ever since. And uh, in the meantime, Nextcloud 17 has been released and now Nextcloud 18 as well. And I would like to upgrade to Nextcloud 18. And in order to do that, you have to go from 16 to 17 and then from 17 you move on to 18. So uh, if I quickly log in here as the uh, administrator and uh, I can quickly show you the version that I'm on, taking a few seconds here. Okay, so um, um, if I go to settings as the admin and I come to overview on the left, Okay, so it tells me I'm on Nextcloud 16.08 and 17.03 is available. Um, so now, you know, what they say you should do is click on Open Update here. Um, I've tried it in multiple different browsers. Um, it's never worked for me. I could never do an update. Um, I have had to do it by hand. So this is how we're going to do it today again. We're going to be doing it by hand. Um, now, if you go to, uh, onto the... the, the um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Nextcloud um, website. All right. They tell you how to do a a, a, a backup. Okay. Um, we're using the built-in updater, the one that you would see on the website. Um, now, this is the one I'm saying doesn't work for me. Um, so, if you go a little bit further down on the left-hand side here, um, then you say using the command line based updater. All right. It brings us here. And what it says is we must change into our next cloud uh, folder. Inside that directory, there's another directory called updater. And inside that, we must run this following command. Um, you'll notice that it's running sudo as user www-data. Now that is w-data is the default uh, um, user that's used uh, when doing a Nextcloud Apache install. Yours might be different, so just change it as it should be, but I would imagine it is WW data as well. Okay, so if we go and uh, run that, um, okay, so if we change to data, uh, okay, so remember, like I said, uh, maybe do a backup of your stuff before this. Um, I'm not showing you how to do the backup. Basically, just backup your entire Nextcloud folder and your, your database. Um, you know, put MySQL or MariaDB, choose the correct database and just back it up. Um, but we're going blind today. Uh, we're going to just try it out and see what happens. All right, so I'll paste in what the website said I should do is uh, this updated.phar. And uh, it tells me, yes, I'm on 16.08 and it'll be installing 17.03. And uh, are you sure you wish to continue? I say yes. See, it does specify here that it does an update. Uh, sorry, a backup. Um, well, I'm not sure if that's going to work. Um, I'm, I'll be the, the, the guinea pig, okay? I'm not doing a backup. I'm just going blind. So uh, let me see if it works, and then you'll know if it works as well. So, all right. So we say start the update and let it run. Okay. Oh, we got an error immediately. Um, okay. Now, I think the reason for this is, is that it says here um, it's found an extra file, okay? Um, in the Nextcloud folder, the log file, uh, fold, subfolder, um, subdirectory. Now, I think that's because that's where I stick my uh, log files for, I mean, for, for uh, Nextcloud. I set that up in my uh, Apache files. Um, so all we need to do is just delete that. But at a later stage, it's gonna, if that folder doesn't exist, I can't start my Apache up. So just something to bear in mind. So you might not have this problem. But uh, if you do, just it's a simple process. Just go and remove that, that folder. And then later, just create it again if Apache won't start up and it says that's the reason. So, um, all right. So, we'll just remove that. So, it's from the previous folder. Um, and uh, we do recursion on it, force it. And it is called log. Uh, L-O-G. Okay, log. All right. So, you got rid of that. So, if we start again. Okay, and do you want to continue? It's going to look for errors again. It's so far looks good. All right, it's now busy doing the backup. All right, now this is the bit that I'm saying. I don't know what is backing up. Is it backing up the database? Is it only backing up the data folder? In other words, all the files itself. 
Um, it does it back up your themes, uh, custom themes, etc. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I like I said, I'll be the guinea pig, and uh, let's see what happens uh, at the end of this. So what what I'll do is I, I've got a feeling this is going to take some time, so I'll just leave it and let it run. And uh, once it's finished, I'll start up again. See you in a moment. Okay, so now it's asking us, uh, should the OCC upgrade command be executed? Um, well, yes, so say yes. And uh, let's see, it's running through that. Uh, that up, uh, backup didn't take very long. Um, let's see, it's running through. Maybe I'll just speed up this bit of the video. All right, and then we asked if the maintenance mode um, should be kept active. Uh, we don't want it to be. We are complete, and uh, so we say no. And uh, let's see what happens. Okay, maintenance mode is disabled, and that's that. Okay, um, well, let's go back to our browser, and let's see what we presented with. Uh, maybe if we just do a refresh here. little bit slow there we go we are on version 0 0.3 so that's great um, so the update worked fine um, it tells us the update check is not yet finished uh, but refresh the page yes yeah, so this is why I was expecting it to tell us that there's uh, version 18 is ready so uh, let's just uh, F5 on that again and refresh and see what it does Ah, it says your version is up to date. So it's not updating to 18 yet. Uh, let me just look into that for a moment. All right, so I've waited a few minutes and I've refreshed this page a couple of times to see if it'll tell me that Nextcloud 18 is available to install. Um, it still hasn't. It's, it's staying on 17.03. Uh, um, so I guess what, what I can try is do exactly what we did just now, is uh, from the command line, let's do an update. And uh, yeah, let, let's see what happens. Um, I assume it's just going to say there's no updates available, but let's see. Uh, so temporary user here. Okay, current version is set. There, great. It tells us 18 is available. So on the website, or now, if, if we did a, if we log in as admin, um, and we look at uh, administration overview then it doesn't tell us that anything is available. It says we're up to date. But if we go and we run that same command line again that we did earlier, it tells us, great, you can upgrade from 17.03 to 18.01, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, so I assume it'll work the exact same as it worked just now. We It's going to do the backups and so forth. And uh, so let's say, yes, we want to continue. Okay, it's creating the backup. Let that run for a moment. All right, and then it asks us again, should the OCC upgrade command be executed? And we say yes, and uh, let it run through that. Um, I made a little mistake. I just now said uh, that I made no update, uh, no backup of my, file, my files. Um, actually, I forgot, I did yesterday. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. So I, I did actually, I made a backup of my database and I made a backup of my data files. So I do actually have a backup, but uh, I forgot about that. So I thought I was showing you going blindly and just doing a backup, but I, I, I upgrade, but I do have a backup. All right, so let's just see that this thing run for a moment. Okay, and we asked again, uh, keep maintenance mode active and we say no, because we are complete. All right, so that's done. Okay, and if we come back into our browser, it's saying uh, 1703. So it should say now 1801, I guess. Uh, let's refresh it, see what it says. 1801, there we go. So we've upgraded from 16 to 18, 16 to 17 to 18. And uh, yeah, so far all looks good. Uh, I suppose what I can do is log out and see if I can log in as a normal user. Okay.
it's logging in and we're in and there we go um, yeah uh, I suppose everything is fine I can do some tests some something about the fonts or the icons or something looks smoother to me but uh, okay I haven't really checked that out but that that's basically it then um, so we did an upgrade from 16 to 17 to 18 so I'm on the latest so uh, I guess I can now have some fun and see what are the changes what's new what can I fiddle with uh, such as for instance Colabora I'd like to get that up and running and uh, but there you have it um, yeah uh, nothing really went wrong uh, oh what I can say to you is um, at a stage uh, when I was testing this out um, I, I ran into a problem and to fix it what happened is the installation had started. Okay, remember this bit that where is my let's just go to the bottom here. Yeah. Come on. Uh, so many so many things open here. Yeah. Where we uh, here we go. Alright. So what happened is um, I started the upgrade, okay, with this uh, command that they tell us to use. Um, where was that now? Um, all right, but remember, remember the, this main command that we had to use here. All right, this uh, sudo uh, uh, php updated dot All right, um, what happened is I accidentally cancelled the upgrade, um, and I couldn't r restart anything. I, it wouldn't start the update from scratch. I tried to set the maintenance mode off. I couldn't get anything working. Um, but then I realized all I needed to do was run this command um, PHP OCC maintenance repair and he went and set everything up for me and fixed it and then I was back to where I was and I could start the actual video which is what I showed you today um, so yeah that's just something to keep in mind uh, if something does go wrong halfway through uh, just come and look at this uh, uh, PHP OCC maintenance repair and uh, yeah, well, that's it, guys. Uh, don't really have anything else to say right now. Uh, hope you have a good day and uh, enjoy it. See you, man. Bye.